What's up guys, Austin Newman here with Learning 5 where you can learn After Effects tutorials in just 5 minutes or less. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a flat design logo such as this. Something that's really simple to do, it's really clean, looks really nice, and it goes along with the trends of today's design. So in classic fashion, we're going to go ahead and dive right in. Command N on Mac to bring up a new composition, 1920 by 1080 HD settings, 24 frames a second. Those are my settings. So what we want to do here is pull up your title action safes just so we can use it as a temporary guide for now. Go over here to your shape tool, make sure your ellipse tool is selected. I have my fill on and my stroke off and my fill is set to the color I already want it on. So we're going to go ahead and pull this out just a little bit. It is somewhere around that size. So go over to your blending mode. If you don't see this, toggle switches and modes until you do. Go to screen hit enter to rename this layer. I'm going to rename it red since I'm going to be doing each color of this rainbow here. And while this layer is selected, hit Y on the keyboard to get this little anchor point to pull up. You want to pull this anchor down while holding shift, which should keep it aligned. Keep it right in the middle here and in the middle of your actual shape. The reason being is because this is the one point that all of these fans are going to rotate around. So it's very important that you keep this right here in the middle for now. So that is our first fan. Let's go ahead and Command D to duplicate all the settings on that one. And we want to go over here to Selector Tool, Fill, and then I'm going to change mine to an orange color, which is the next color that I'll be doing. So now that that one is set, we're going to hit Enter and rename that one orange. And Command D on the keyboard, Enter to rename this one yellow. Go over there to the Selector Tool, Fill, and I'm going to select the yellow color. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward. I'm going to do each of these, but I'm going to fast forward to save a little bit of time. Okay, now that I've done each of my different fans here, I am ready to start animating. So we don't ever really want to animate at the very beginning of a comp. Uh, it's normally better to just kind of go in, usually about 10 frames. In this case, I'm going to go half a second, so 12 frames in. Let's go ahead and select all of these by clicking Shift and click the top one. We're going to select all of these. Hit R on the keyboard to bring up your rotation. Go ahead and hit the stopwatch to set a keyframe there. I'm going to go 2 seconds and 12 frames in and hit a keyframe right there. So for the first keyframe, we're going to want this at negative 90. So that'll be right here down at the bottom. And for the next keyframe, you're going to want to put all of these in their respective parts. So this one right here will go at 180. And I'm going to go indigo at about 150. Blue. I'm going to set at about 119 green, which is the middle one, so it should go right here in the middle at 90 degrees. Yellow, about 58 degrees. Orange, about 29 degrees. And red's already in the point it needs to be in. So that's kind of the basics there. Then we want to select all of these, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease, pull up your graph editor. If you're not seeing this graph editor, this is the speed editor. Go down here and hit edit speed graph. Select this last half here and pull this to the left. What this does is it tells all these to fan out really fast and then kind of slowly to finish it off. So kind of like this. So now that we have that all set, what I can also do is we can also put a motion blur on it. So go ahead and toggle switches and modes, put a motion blur and select all of these. And that will kind of motion blur this just a little bit. It's an added effect. You can do it if you'd like. If not, it's fine. It's really just taste preference. And then all I really did in the difference was just kind of made sure the opacity was at zero. So we go ahead and hold all these down, hit T. Do opacity zero, set a keyframe there. In about one second, go ahead and keyframe it to be 100. And that's really it. I just added some text at the bottom and we're all set. So if you learned anything, if this helped you, make sure to leave a like on this video. Subscribe to this channel for more After Effects tutorials that you can learn in five minutes or less. I've been Austin Newman. You can find my work on Instagram at Austin Makes Films. Love connecting with you guys and see what you're working on as well on there. So until next time, guys, we'll see you later.